Hey everybody, Scott here for Toaster Tips TV today. Today? Ah, whatever. And today I'm going to run down my favorite, my top five, or six, I might throw a sixth one in, dirty presets. These are the bridge between the clean and the heavy. They, uh, they're dirty. Meh. So let's do that. Okay, uh, I'm sorry if I seem out of it, groggy, or slurring my speech a little bit. I had uh, been having some medical some issues lately, and I had some procedures done yesterday. I had uh, I had the polyepherin, I think is what it's called, shot into my sinus cavity, and it literally felt like somebody took a little uh, flamethrower, put it up to my nostril, and unleashed the fucking fury. Just burned my entire uh, it was nuts and uh, that actually didn't prove anything so <laughs> that was just there for the doctor to torture me and uh, because it didn't fix anything he thought it might and uh, and then after that they uh, removed a uh, an unknown growth from the back of my throat so my mouth really feels weird today and it's hard to talk I might not open my mouth as far as I should what are you gonna do so they sent that off to be biopsied this is how I start my Fridays, by uh, hyping everybody with all this awesome news. Uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm drugged and I feel a little out of it. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to go lay down. Here is the first one. It's a Dirty 74 Champ Michael Britt profile. And uh, you can hear I've already got delay and reverb, compression, EQ, a little pitch shifting on it. I'm not going to play the blank profile because I don't want to have to keep going back and forth to this thing. I don't feel so great. So, uh, this is the first one. It's kind of small sounding, which is, you know, the way a champ should sound. Pretty cool, though. Number two is a top Jimmy profile. This is Dirty AC30 Top Boost. And it's a little brighter, a little larger, uh, but still a very cool sound. And that one's just got a little reverb and I'll go over and I'll show you some of the uh, some of the saucing that I do to these. Okay, number three is actually from the Kemper amps. Now this was one of the original uh, amps. It's the uh, Fender Blackface uh, Baseman, dimed, and uh, I pulled back the gain a little bit. It was a little bit too crazy. Plus I made some adjustments because it was just too muddy, and uh, now it's usable. Pretty sweet uh, in-between kind of sound. It'd be great for some uh, uh, cool rhythm stuff. Good times. The next one is a Dirty Match List. This is uh, the Match List 30 from uh, the Amp Factory. And or V30. Mm, just says matchless 30, but I think it's a V30. Unsure what that is, actually. But uh, this sounds really good to me as well. Um, it's It's got a nice nice body to it.
good stuff. This last one is the JTM45 from Top Jimmy. And I'm going to use the uh, combination of these two pickups this time. I had been using these two for all of the others. And I'm, I've blended in a little bit of that one too. Uh, this is sort of the bridge between the dirty and the mid gain presets. Because it's, you know, it's got that martial punch to it. You could also get the uh, sort of Malcolm Young kind of sound out of this one. You know that sound that was uh, underneath Angus's slightly more distorted but much bitier, totally driven kind of amp sound, uh, holding down the holding down the rhythm. times sorry ow god damn it they pulled this thing out yesterday and it's been hurting <laughs> sorry i don't mean to bitch but uh yeah i'm gonna go lay down so anyway let's uh let's go over to the kemper i'll show you what i did to the uh to the jtm 45 with all the extras All right, here we are with the Dirty Marsha JTM. For the reverb, I'm using Large Room, blah, 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 short time. I like a nice pre-delay. I have a little bit of volume. Hmm. I didn't even know that was there. What are you gonna do? The uh, delay is analog delay. And uh, 375 is my one of my usual uh, times. I like 150 for the quick slap back, 375 for a short delay, 444 for medium length delay, medium to long. That's pretty long for me. And then 500 millisecond for, for really long, 550 max for me. And uh, I'm doing a little bit of uh, pitch shifting with the micro pitch detune. Uh, low percentage, no volume. The X factor is the equalizer, the studio equalizer. And I set it accordingly. I'm pulling down some ultra highs, boosting some ultra lows, boosting a little bit of uh, low mids, and some highs. And then cutting some ultra highs. That's how I get away from that fizzy top end sound. It's that's very annoying. Uh, with the compressor, I'm using the compressor the default compressor, and uh, this is my one of my standard settings. Very, you know, seventy five percent mix. The uh, gate is very minimal. Uh, I set my my input gate to around the same thing, about one point two, and my output gate are about one point two for for something with no virtually no gain to it, like this. And uh, that's how I get that sound. Mm -hmm. There you go, everybody. Now, have a good weekend. I'm going to lay down and rest, take some drugs, and try to feel better. <laughs> so, I'll see you on Monday. And until then, rock on. <laughs>